Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, those are the three wins. An easy extra 2,500 MGP, I think it was. I think that's all we were. That's all the golden saucer stuff we're gonna do. Let me update the stream text, and then we'll head on over to Ultima Thule. Okay, Ultima Thule, uh, um, base Omicron, right? Yes. I find the whole premise of this thing hilarious. Let's just set up a restaurant, you know, as you do. Okay, head over to teleport here. This time I'll actually use the teleporters, because last time I didn't even- I completely forgot about these. Because, like, we did the Stigma Dreamscape, like, months ago. Literally, like, two months ago. Anyway, let's talk to N7000 and get started. Longing so far, all the fish? Oh, we're gonna do these fish things now. This is from, uh, another one of the enemies in Dead's End. Is that- Yes, the Dead's End. This is the one, the the planet that got taken over by Pestilence. N7000 is not emitting any strained whirring or beeping noises, so things must be going well at the last dregs. This unit is pleased to inform you that culinary ingredient supply has stabilized, and relations with the reconstructed calamarines are rated as friendly. As conditions for proceeding with the next phase of operations are optimal, this unit has taken the liberty of ordering additional customers. Patron 003 and Patron 004 are being transported to the last dregs even as we exchange communication signals. What sort of patrons are Stigma Force reconstructed for us this time, I wonder? We may as well see ours for ourselves. Oh, yeah, let's go see for ourselves. Would you please show us to our table? Proud citizen. Let's talk to him first. I can't say what's more unbelievable, that I'm gardening with the enemy or that I quite enjoy it. I was dead serious about the war, believe you me, yet somehow this feels more meaningful. Uh, yeah. Farming? A man of your talents? It's an honest life. What was it? I don't remember how the meme goes. Sensors indicate that Patron 003 and Patron 004 are around here somewhere. Oh, right, that's right, he got the bunny ears last time from Jamming Way. has a pleasant ambience about it these days, wouldn't you say, Brilliant? The Calarians aren't even shouting at each other. But where are our new customers? Patrons are seated according to table with a view protocol and served in accordance with salad protocol, which have produced a satisfaction rate of 124% among customers to date. I think you may have overflowed a bit. Excellent work, unit. It's always better to speak with customers after they've been fed. These patrons are of the Grebulf race, known for its metallurgy. Records indicate that this civilization originated amidst the shining blue seas of its home planet, later adapting to life on its land masses. Thus, the Grebulf diet includes both fish and plant matter. Here. Is the salad not to your liking? The organic life form's presence confound this unit's logic circuits. Please provide additional data. Oh, I hope you won't take this personally. It's perfectly lovely salad. Only... Ah, I miss him so much! 
let's see. The salad brings back painful memories. Could we get you something else, perhaps? All our friends are dead. Wah. Oh, wait. How about a cup of tea? What are we going to do? We made our customers cry. Cry! We need to catch them before they escape through the portal to another Ostacron. If we can't cheer them up quickly, their woe will plunge this whole place into despair. Oh, that's true. I uh, better catch them then. How is the salad doing that? Anyway, it looks like we need to head over to that island. Uh, which actually means I should take this portal. And then there's another portal that takes you to that island. I think. Not portal, the this guy. Okay, so there should be another teleporter right here. Yeah, un unmemoried portal. Oh, they're there. Yeah, this is where we need to go. Bugger! Where did they go? Oh, that's the wrong voice, but I can't remember how he did the previous one. Audio input registers no whimpering in this vicinity. This unit can only conclude that Patron 001 and Patron 004 have utilized the portal to teleport to base Omicron. Curse their advanced technological comprehension born of generations of metalworking innovation. Fear not, anxiety prone life form. The base Omicron perimeter is perpetually monitored by patrol units. This unit will transport recorded data of customer service interactions to aid in detection of rogue patrons. Well then, what are you waiting for? Now what are you waiting for, Mr. Robot, sir? Hello, Perimeter Patrol Unit. Have you seen two small life forms? Beep. Fugitive Grubble data downloaded. Initializing pattern matching sequence. Sighting confirmed. Last known location. Territory between base Omicron and clouded portal. Uh oh. Target life forms were deemed annoying but non threatening. Warranting no interaction. Well, that's not good. Did we say that we didn't want to get them to get to the portal? I suppose we should be thankful that it isn't a rogue Omicron we're after. Needle in a haystack, that would be. Yes, I know. Fugitive identification data has been transmitted to all patrol units. This unit will review base Omicron security recordings while you gather testimonial evidence. Okay. Let's talk to this guy then, the idling, idling unit. Anomalous data detected in clouded portal transmission records. Timecode suggests these unregistered life forms may be the Grebulfs you are looking for. Oh, that's useful. Hey, and 7,000, we got two clues. Camera recordings confirm that Patron 003 ran screaming through base Omicron, followed closely by Patron 004. Did any patrol units provide additional data? Then there is a high possibility that the clouded portal was the customer's point of regress. Uh oh. How did their little legs run so fast? Asking for a friend. Of course, of course, just jamming away, asking for a friend. At any rate, that portal leads to the Ostacron Tria. Let us make for the abode of the Ea. At the least, there may be more eyewitnesses. Man, those things move fast. They're already through there. Well, let's teleport over to the Ea. Abode of the Ea. Okay, let's see. There they are. Sarcastic Ea. Ah, to search for those long lost. I too have known this need. 
Or have I? <laughs> they cannot have gone far, much farther. He's, his little legs aren't carrying a very far. Poor the... Wait, wrong, wrong voice. <laughs> Per the EA unit, the rogue customers may be somewhere nearby. If it is indeed the well-armored beings you speak of, they entered our abode crying for water. Incidentally, their crying produced water as well, which one must assume is why they were carrying on so. Regardless, we told them of the wellspring of regret. Perhaps it brings them spiritual comfort as we once found in our holy places. Or perhaps they continue to weep, even now. Oh, how nice. Oh, not terrible. This unit would not venture to theorize. However, projections do indicate that one of the Grey Wolves located a water source. They will entrench there. Despite their sophistication, their nature subjects them to certain base instincts. If only they had stayed for tea! They must be awfully dehydrated by now. Come on. Okay, let's go check out this wellspring of regret. Did we ever actually go over here for anything? I don't remember. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, there they are. Both of them. At last. Allied units must remain alert to fluctuations in dynamis, engaging spatial spatiotemporal monitoring. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. <laughs> wah, wah. What voice did I give these guys again? Uh, I guess I think I just gave them a posh accent. Fathoms deep, you followed us all the way over out here. It is our responsibility as cafe managers, though we underestimated your determination and lung capacity, I must admit. Do you feel better now that you've seen the water? Query, is the Im... Imbelic... Im... Basilic. I don't know how, what this is supposed to be. Is the life form malfunctioning? This unit lacks many of the traits shared by organic races, but even so, the visual data could not be more conclusive. I shan't dignify what with a response, but how do you feel? Uh. So bad then. Yes, bad. We finally escaped those pointy, terrible machines, only to find this. We can't dive in this miserable little puddle. It's barely suitable for dipping. I mean, yeah, it's a lake. It's a little lake. I don't want to be in this strange land. I want to go home, but we lost so much. Did we finally lose our ocean too? <laughs> They're like Nazumu, yeah. They got the same animations. Certain I understand. Are oceans truly that superior to lakes? Our seas on the moon did not even have water most of the time. Uh, yeah, oceans are pretty big. Ah, like in old Charlian, being in blue with a horizon all its own. This unit has never seen such a thing. Omicron protocol is to evaporate significant water sources that may be of use to the enemy before landing. That sounds brutal. <laughs> there is no ocean in Ultima Thule, that's for certain. Even so, there must be something here to bring back pleasant memories of the sea, rather than depressing ones. You know what, Brillian? What's unique about the ocean aside from all the water? Salt. The beach has a sort of smell, the salty sea breeze. We're gonna get all salty here. I mean, I don't need any help with that. In that case, 
Perhaps we can harness the scent you were called to invoke m memories of relaxing days at the shore. This unit acknowledges the potential of this course of action. Comparison of data from the Dead's End and records of the Ragnarok show significant similarities between the chemical composition of the Oceans of Atheres and Gurbal's star. Sea smell it is. Once brilliance dips out a sufficiently ocean-scented ingredient, we'll sprinkle it in a delicious dish to raise our customer's spirits. Isolating odiferous compounds and querying database. Chemical match found. Salt mined from deposits at approximately coordinate 14, 17, 2 will produce a similar odor to the sea salt of your home star. Surely we can find some manner of dish to cook with that. Perhaps soup? This unit suggests worrying about that after allied units reconvene at the last dregs. In the meanwhile, Protocol requires that management gently prod the customers until they regain their faculties. <laughs> poke, poke, poke. I happen to be a bit of a pokey master. Oh, I can't poke them? I wanted to poke them. Oh well. Let's see, where do we need to go? Ah, oh, yes, the same place that we always go. Or at least some of the some of the quests had me go over here. Okay, Rocky Outcrop, what have you got for us? Star Sea Salt. Need three of them. Oh, I got two that time. Okay, that's all we needed. Let's head back to base Omicron and turn it in. The premise of this quest line is really goofy. All right, everyone, I got some sea salt. I could go for a spot of dinner after so much sprinting. What do you have in mind? <laughs> I'm sorry, you're all <laughs> so kind. I'm giving him a good slap. I do recall a distant owner near the last stand in Old Charlian. Was that the ocean? No, it's probably just burnt food. Customer vital signs stabilized. Social acceptability of issuing dinner invitations restored to 100%. Oh, let's turn in the sea salt. See if they like it. Ingredients confirmed. Loading recipe. Huzzah! It's time to get cooking. This salty, tangy, vaguely, 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 vaguely fishy aroma. How bittersweet it is. Ah, oh, they didn't want to implement a drinking technology. Wait, they're like seals. Astounding! It tastes just like the tide. Invigorating flavor, as if I've waited and accidentally swallowed a lungful. Ah, such fond memories, even if they do sting a bit. Why do you have a fork? We had many, many a good day, thanks to our beautiful sea. If I could go back to those times, I would treasure the blessings it gave us. I would keep it safe from harm. Incoming transmission from Stigma 4. Observational units report rapid changes to Elysion's landscape. All signs point to Greybluff's influence. Really? Well, this bears seeing for ourselves. Well, I guess we gotta head over to Stigma. See what changes are happening. 
Because last time they ended up like building the what what are they called? The freedom fighters or whatever. Ended up like manifesting like a cultivation apparatus or something. Let's see what these guys made. Maybe it's a whole ocean or something. That would be interesting. Hurry, hurry! The Kriblos have already gone! This unit fears for the cardiovascular system of the excitable life form and recommends not keeping it in suspense any longer. <laughs> yeah, let's not keep him in suspense any longer. I mean, I want to see what happened anyway. Oh my! I mean, it's not an ocean, but... From their profound love and appreciation of the Greybluff's ocean has been reborn. It will make a fine home for myriad aquatic creatures. Interesting. Is this going to continue on from the farmlands? Yeah, it looks like it. I can see it in the background there. There's yet much room for Elysion to grow and change. What other hopes will the power of Dynamis bring to life? a bit smaller than the real thing, but it certainly smells like the ocean to me. And did you see the happy looks of the Gribble's helmeted little faces? This unit did see and appreciates allied units' assistance in fulfilling this objective. We have land, we have sea. One does wonder what could possibly come next, not to mention what menu items it will inspire. More importantly, this mission is evolving. Analysis of statements made by the Gribbles, as well as their overall demeanor, indicates that their memories originated just prior to their star's ultimate demise. Once reconstructed, the individuals initially remained in a state of deep despair over what had befallen their world, and it sees in particular. Via Operation Soup, however, cafe management restored to them their will to carry on. These events have caused this unit to reevaluate the significance of the current mission. Mission significance and satisfaction with current orders are now rated as high. Oh well, it's about time. Yet, this unit has unresolved queries. Metaphysically, this unit and other life forms in Ultima Thule are not but simulations, memories reconstructed with Dynamis. Regardless of our actions, can these lives truly be categorized as meaningful? I don't know. Not to cut your existential crisis short, Bolthead, but do you not have data proving that you are as metaphysical significant as anyone else? Our customers affected the dynamis of Elysion, and that's a fact. You lot may be a little different, but your feelings, your hopes, your dreams, those are real. So let's get up there and serve up some smiles, eh? We can't do it without you. Affirmative. Thank you, Jamming Way. Wait, what? That bucket of bolts said something nice? About the cardiovascular challenge life form? Last dregs, reputation up. Your reputation has increased to trusted. You have achieved trusted reputation with the staff and patrons of the last dregs. New Albuquerque tribal quests are available. Stigma 4 and A4 research. There are more. You will be able to undertake three additional quests. Stigma 4 and reputation bonus. This bonus is available only until daily reset. Yeah, yeah, Yep, just the normal stuff. I'll go ahead and check what new rewards we get. Another, another achievement. Very nice. Check the vending unit. And we get the N7000 card. Nice. Add that to my collection. Throw this away because we don't need it. 